Hey guys, it's Anelius, and welcome back here to the game of Hearts of Iron number four. We're going to carry on playing as Argentina in actually 1946. Now, you might recall that we're part of the Axis, and we basically got a very, very long border to defend, so that's exactly what we're doing at the moment. Last episode, of course, we finally got our hands on Easter Island. It took a fair while to get that done. Uh, but one of the key things that we need to do next, at least I want to get done next, is basically defeating here the Allies. To get that done, it's going to be a bit of a chore. Look at how much casualty they suffered. Particularly to Japan. Wow. And also to us. 1.4 million they lost to us. Whereas we only lost, it looks like, 360,000. United States, we only lost 31,000 too. So they have suffered humongous losses, it looks like. Um, let's just have a quick look, see where we got our troops. These troops are currently relocating towards Belgium here. Or former Belgium, which is now Germany. Uh, these troops here are repositioning themselves to be on that border here with Guatemala. I want to be able to use that land here properly. Um, I do want to basically start building a couple of forts here, just as a fallback position. Can't build them there, unfortunately. So I'll have to build them here. Probably a bit overkill in terms of the numbers I've just put on there. Let's just move them up to the top first. Alexandria Derna. Um, do I need to do anything with Alexandria? I don't think so. I'm actually going to remove that from the queue entirely. Let's reduce this down to four. And that is four as well. The nice numbers to work with. As you can see at the moment, we got 4.12 million people available in terms of manpower. That is thanks to the fact that we basically have got an additional manpower from integrating some of these states here. Hold on, not what we want to do. Um, so if you look carefully at these states that we got here, currently in our control compliance, these are fully compliant because of course they're fully integrated, which of course is great. It means there shouldn't be any more hassle with any of the troops there. Now I do see I need to basically get some additional troops assigned to that particular group here, or I need to reduce the area that they've been assigned as such. Why have we got two there? I'm not sure. So they're set to defend, as you can see, the coastline, which is perfectly fine. They're currently, ooh, maybe I haven't actually, ah, that's why. I didn't set that area to be defended, that's why. Ah, uh, easy small mistake to be made. But could be disastrous, and luckily I noticed it now, so that shouldn't really, yeah, be a negative thing anymore. So looking at these guys here, they should be getting their supplies in by truck. Uh, but in reality, I, of course, want to prioritize these here to have trucks done for them. Si, senor. There we go. Attention. I can actually set that at the martial level. I can actually set that here. Of course, even far better. Um, I've got no additional points to allocate at the moment. And where are we in terms of progress here? 50%, this guy is 93% towards skill level 7. 77%, and this guy is here at 60%. And ultimately, this one is 32% there. Now, this is a relatively new guy that I basically have employed here. As you can see, we're positioning him here nicely to be able to do those naval invasions here. We're set him to actually leverage whatever skill we can. I can give a medal, but I want to basically avoid giving those medals for just a little while more. We're working on some additional bits and pieces here. I didn't actually have any rocket artillery yet, so that's one of the things we are working on present. Um, as you can see, we can basically upgrade existing planes to a new design. I don't want to do that at the moment. I think I'm good. It does say I've got shortages at the moment in terms of certain resources. I'm just going to let that be for now. I do want to work on integrating more of these states, but that's going to take a little while for me to get to the uh, right point for that as such. Where do we stand in terms of the actual war declaration here? We're preparing for that, and that should finish by the 20th of August. So that's not too long from now. 
we got a lot of air war going on here, as you can see. And we actually are dominating the air here, as you can see. So these fighters are on standby. They're not doing anything. Interesting. Why not? They have an airbase here. Can I? No, I cannot leverage that airbase. Why not? Again, another why not? I do have an airbase there, and that is almost full. But I'll set that to operate there as well. These guys are also on standby, interestingly enough. Not sure why they're on standby, though. Can I position them there? No, I cannot, can I? And we don't control that space as such, so... Um, I was going to say do air superiority here as well. I can do that. So these are all now deployed here. Should give me great support here once we got everything ongoing properly sorted here. Let's maybe see if we can actually expand the airbase that we got here even further. As you can see, these are almost done. Once that's done, we should see that this will come into play nicely on the position after this one. So it'll move up, of course, with the rest. Which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't think I actually want to see all of these because most of these are actually going to be wins. I did notice that there is a loss. It would be great if I could just straight away go towards the loss. Is that the loss? Yeah, it looks like the Italians lost something there. But the rest, they're all wins in terms of the Navy. At the moment, there's only one extra in there, which is fine. Let's look at the numbers. Are these okay? Yes. So I can actually integrate that one into there. Brings it back down to another nine. Do I need to keep all of the areas here? Probably. But the benefit that we, of course, got here is the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal allows us to navigate between these three regions quite nicely. So all is good there. Like we just saw. It is not going to be too long. This is preparation ongoing. We don't have enough naval superiority is what it says. Now, what can we do about that? Where did we position these guys? Here. Okay, so they're operating in that region here. But the key region here that's suffering is that region there. What can we do about that? Uh, maybe some of my airplanes could basically help in that regard. Have I got more airplanes that we could potentially position here? Uh, maybe I got some naval bombers I could put there. I do. Okay. Okay, let's have a quick look here. He's got a decent range. So if we basically help in that region there, that would basically give us superiority at least in there. Over here, they're all set for the Yucatan. Which in itself is not necessarily a bad thing, but okay. We get Guatemala in our hands. That should make our life a lot easier here. Oh, actually, we are at a point where we can integrate another state here. So let's actually have a look at that. That is a state of 2 million, 4 million. I actually already integrated that one, I think. I did. 1 million... In terms of resources, where have they got key resources? Like this state here. Uh, that's got a little bit. It hasn't got a lot, but this state here has got, of course, all the rubber in there. And if you probably integrate that one, job done. A lot more of the actual rubber will flow our way because we fully integrated it. Um, plus, of course, we get proper access to the building slots. At the moment, there are stuff on the construction here, but we should fully... Unlock all the other bits and pieces there in due course of time. More naval combat here. Look at this one here. It actually looked at basically being a far bigger one than it actually was. What's oh, this one here as well? Look at that. They actually lost a plane to our submarines. How the heck does that happen? Now, some of our ships were actually damaged, but they're really, really early ones. We had 48 ships operating there. Look at all of that. 
All right, decryption. We can, of course, boost this even further. I think that might be beneficial to do that. Okay, we have wings with unassigned missions. Why we got them here? We should, of course, operate at aerial superiority here. Aerial superiority here. Have I got more airplanes with missions not assigned to them? This one here. Interesting. Pretty sure I sit. Um, fighter wing that's on standby. Hold on. That will already at the top, I guess. Look at all of these figures here. Oh yeah, of course we can boost this even further if we actually build some more radar stations here. But I think for the moment that's a bit late in the game to do that. Well, late in the game, not necessarily late in the game as such, but late in this particular section here. So if I move that to the top, it shouldn't take too long. 4th of September is going to be the first. And then, of course, progressively we get additional ones, which will actually help in a number of different ways here. I can wait until the 4th of September to kick things off. Oh, yes. We've got additional troops here at our disposal. Now, I did want to basically create an extra one here. That's Is that this one here? Yes, these red guys here. Of course, it's set to defend that region here, which is perfect. These brown guys here. I no longer need to focus on that. Because, of course, these new troops will help alleviate some of that stuff. Okay. Marvelous. So, back to our friends here. These guys... Sorry, no... These guys, I was not to say, have got, of course, their orders. All 19 divisions have been allocated to that. So then they're ready to do their thing. In terms of the naval invasion, that is this one. These have all been set to do their thing as well. Here, of course, we do need to get that superiority. I'm going to just focus upon our local region first, but that will actually be a longer ongoing battle. It won't just be a one-off bit. We're going to wait for that first bit to complete. As you can see, we haven't actually selected anything. I've done that on purpose because I do want to basically, of course, have all the energy flowing into getting additional political power, which then helps us with getting more of the bits and bobs that we need. We could, of course, work on improving worker conditions. I know it costs efforts for us to get that done. China joins Ethiopia, really? Oh, they're actually fighting in Ethiopia now here as well. Is Ethiopia now aligned with the Allies? No, they are at war with us as well. Oh, sorry, it's El Salvador as well as us. Interesting. There's still lots of United Kingdom stuff going on here. There's actually Americans operating here as well, which will be uh, interesting to see how that develops. Anything else I can basically get from these guys? So their opinion of us is pretty good. Not at the top, but pretty good. Okay, let's kick things off on the beginning of the next month. One China policy. Interesting. I bet that was the completion of a submarine. Or three. Okay, so these three. I'm going to fully integrate them with that one there. Brings it to 11. All of them are operating in different regions, so no qualms there. Okay, 5th of September. So if we look at the air situation here now. Interesting, what happened here? 
We see that the enemy has actually allocated additional stuff to here. P26As, gladiators, okay. Si, senor! Well, at the moment, it's not sufficient naval supremacy, but we require a higher percentage. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to basically play right in the ball into the court of the allies. There we go. Attention! Si, sí, senor! Nice, that shouldn't last too long. They should be defeated really quickly. Guatemala joins the Allies. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Straightforward to straight away see which ones are doing what. Senor! En marcha! En marcha! En marcha! Okay. Listo! Oh, that would be fun if we can basically finally move these Mexicans out of there as well. Nos están disparando. En marcha. Okay. Sí, señor. Well, if we're not able to get that these naval landings done, why not actually let them join in on the front line here? Wouldn't be such a bad thing. Have them focus on the Yucatan. Yes, I'll boost your plan a bit. Oh, yes. Nice. Guatemala capitulated. Yeah, I kind of expected them to basically try to push through into here as well. No, you can try to send me units. I don't want the units. I want you to just help on the front line in reality. So, they're being shelled. That's great. But we're also being shelled. Interesting. So let's have a look at our positions here. So if we look carefully, we'll see that we can actually get the supply line from here. Connect it up to there. Yeah, let's make sure we get that done quickly. Should be really quick to get this done here. Again, we're trying to prioritize that one a little bit at least. One more level there if we can do that. So we got lots of troops coming in here now, as you can see. Marcha. Si, senor. Y la hermosa. 
¡Listo, señor! ¡Sí, señor! So let's take these troops here for a second. Let's actually say, well, guys, we got this new region to defend as well. Let's get them into there. Okay, our navy here is not set to operate in the Gulf of Mexico at the moment. I'm going to add that little bit of region into there as well. I know it sounds interesting to be able to get that done. Sí, señor. Okay. Listo. Sí, señor. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, go there. Sí, señor. You go there, and then from there, there. Okay, push. Push, push, push. So we're actually going to go into Mexico, it looks like, after we've gone through Guatemala here. It looks like we won that bit. The Italian's actually got ships positioned here now. Nice to see that as well. But look at that. All these American convoys have been annihilated. Well, maybe annihilated is a bit of a strong word, but they've been pushed out of there. All of these little bit help. Do we need to do anything else here? Passive defense, maybe, maybe but later. Oh yes, let's first integrate more of these states here. Gets us even more manpower. We've got 50 divisions training there. We've got 48 training there. So lots of troops will be coming online soon. Where do we stand in terms of our production, actually? As you can see, we're starting to build up this here as well. I could actually add even more lines of submarines, it looks like. 1940. Just in case we start finally getting into the uh, realm of having more than we actually wanted or need at the moment. I actually need more of this as well. Uh, Yep. That's fine for now. This is good as well. Numbers are holding steadily there. All right. Let's focus in the troops again. Oh, hold on. Before we do, these planes, they're still operating nicely here. Both of them will be relocating here, as you can see. So our situation is no longer as clear as it was before. That doesn't mean that actually it's come to a halt. No, it does not. So that's the brown color, isn't it? Yes, push, 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 push. Attention! Listo. Okay. Señor. Listo. Resistan. Nos están disparando. Okay. Sí, señor. Well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, that probably will help if we basically get all the proper troops on the front line where they should be. What are you doing here? Oh, of course, you were defending that territory. Now, let's keep defending that territory. It might actually well be a good idea to do that. This is slightly negative. We're basically losing trucks is what it says. Sí, señor. 
necessarily a bad thing. Then again, not necessarily a good thing either. Air support is present. Good. This territory finally is in our hand. Belize has British Honduras as a core state. Okay. Interesting. We actually captured a, a supply hub there as well. Attention! means of course these enemy troops become far more susceptible to our attacks here si, senor. i kind of want to basically create a bit of a barrier here so if i can basically capture these here or even acapulco that would be great if we can get our hands on that Come on, guys keep the troops moving we got that we should be able to at least see the reduction in terms of supply levels for the enemy there El it should help us seven Firme. Firme. all right si, senor. Yeah, the Mexicans didn't expect that, did they? It says we got insufficient steel now. Interesting. We've got a bit of a surplus in terms of rubber. Let's reduce how much we get from Finland, because I don't know, even know why we're getting stuff from Finland there. Same with Portugal. We can keep at this level for now. <clears throat> Yes, we're integrating a state there, which is perfect. Italian Naval Cooperation Program. So naval research gets a nice boost here then with that. Okay, look at that. Listo. These guys are now able to push into there as well. Firme. En marcha. Okay, let's push into there. En marcha. Atención. En marcha. Okay, that's positive once again. Listo, señor. Firme. En marcha. Sí, señor. Divisions is what it says. Okay, that's fine. Let's at least try to get these bits out of there. Finally, more Marines. They'll be able to help push into here. Sure, bombardments are basically making them suffer, which is to be expected, I guess. Yucatan fighters. These are all fighters, which is okay. More rubber production, and even more we can push this for. It should ultimately mean we need even less of the rubber that we are importing at the moment. Since we've got more factories at our disposal to do their thing.
we're almost at the level where we can integrate yet another state. I'm going to look for states that actually do stuff like... Hold on, why am I doing this here? Bellum to Ecuador, really. Okay. I guess that's needed here to get supplies moving. I guess. Look at Peru, how big that now is. got enough troops here we don't have enough troops in that region here it looks like so it would be great once we get more troops at our disposal to basically be able to put those into that region here as well okay en marcha Okay, let's move these here as well. Listo. Locations it goes to, so we just annihilated that section there. Marvelous. Look at the number of troops that we got there. Sí, señor. Ouch. Listo. Let's leave these here for now. Marvelous. One division is assigned to there. Okay. It'll turn into a bit of a slugfest unless we keep all of this moving here nicely. Then there's an airfield here, which is great. A little bit too many of them, sorry. We can move them there. That section is poorly supplied at the moment, as you can see. We can do something about that by saying, well, let's build more railway tracks to there. Booster, at least three that we now got at the bottom here. One, two, three, four. Wow, look at all of this here. Let's get these to the top so at least we can get them repaired. Attention! these troops really to go there because up here I'm not not worried about being able to get in there Attention! that's almost in our hands once we get that properly in our hands we will then be able to of course dominate that region here the actual Me Gulf of Mexico as well Listo! see that's exactly what I was looking for Marvelous. It almost doubles the number of troops we have there, which is great. Attention! Firme! But are putting troops back. Interesting to see that. Listo, señor. 44 at the moment. It says 44. Have them operate in that region here. Listo. Push into the mountains there. I know mountains will be difficult. Typically will be difficult. How much in terms of the support equipment have we got? Not a heck of a lot. Let's see if I can buy some additional ones. Look at the number of weapons and so forth on offer here. Lots of stuff I don't need at the moment. There will be stuff here that we do need. Look at these trucks, interesting. 
Come on, support equipment, where are you? I know you're in the list here somewhere. Be so great. Ah, oh, there we go, finally. It would be so great if we could get some kind of filter on here. These are all relatively low numbers, but this one is good to be able to get. Finland, okay. So we're in our bottom section here. And these are all low quantities, except for this one, really. Look at that. Let's put six factories we need to allocate to that. Wow. Okay, so be it. In terms of artillery, we still got 17,000 of them. Wow. It's just this one that I'm really a bit concerned about. But okay. Um, let's have a quick look at the design of these. Is there anything I can add into here? Pioneers, interesting. So if I add further artillery, what's that going to do? It's going to boost my soft attack particularly. My organization will drop. If I were to add pioneers onto here, look at that. Organization will drop a little bit, but all the other bits will go up substantially. Twenty-seven thousand additional manpower. Nine hundred additional infantry equipment. That's, that's not that bad. Thirty-six hundred additional support equipment. I think I should be able to support that. <clears throat> If I then also add more artillery into the mix. I also need a couple of thousand towed artillery, which I can do. Okay, let's do that. Anything of course to boost my numbers there. Yeah. And from there we attack into there. Attention. These three are recovering. Firme. Si, señor. These three, once they get there, they will basically help with the attack there. Si, señor. They will also push into there. Si, señor. First tier is five, will help with the attack into there. Available planes in reserve. We got a heck of a lot of them, as you can see. Modern close air support airframes. But we do have capacity here for close air support planes. We do here close air support in that capacity as such and then have them operate in there as well we're over capacity here as you can see at least i got i guess i got allies operating here as well now which is causing that Guess there's another supply hub up there as well. There is. And it does look like we can actually work on improving that. Which I will do. Okay, nice. Keep on those supplies here as well. We'll set to use whatever means is necessary here to get that moving. Recover for a little bit. Not too long, but a little bit. There's only one of them there. Oh, two now. Interesting. I had rather hoped that I would be a bit more. There's not even a port at Acapulco, is there? Interesting. They're attacking me here now. <laughs> well, good luck to you. I 
to build a connection between that and reality, isn't it? Again, let's push these three to the top ten. Done with that. Lots of case of making sure we basically got the logistics right here. Listo. En marcha. Okay, let's see if we can basically push that through finally. Not done so beautiful, but uh, ooh, even more lovely. Listo. They're all still on the train, it looks like. Let's leave that out for just a moment now. We do have troops there from our allies already as well. We do have troops here already as well. Doesn't have to be a massively strong contingent, but it's there. Oh yes, we can integrate another state. Where have we got steel here at all? Aluminum. We got iron and such there. We got other bits there which are not of our concern at the moment. Rubber here, we're working our way through that. Crikey, there's more rubber here as well. Oh yes, we won that one. We won that one. I do think I want to basically build a port in Acapulco, though, once I got that in my hands. Just to get that additional supply up there. So there we go. And push that all the way to the top straight away. Because a port is, is, is a supply hub, but it's a very, very quick and cheap supply hub, so to speak. Si, sí, senor! Okay. Listo, señor. Just to focus on that region here as such, which is fine. Okay, now from there we're gonna push into here. That will work nicely. Let these guys recover here. Now we do, of course, want to also build more train tracks towards there as well. Marvelous. Again, it won't take up a heck of a lot of time. 4th of November. Well, it's about 10 days. This is going to be until the 20th of November. So it's almost a month for the first one to become available there. Once we get that done, just helps with that little bit of work there. 84. En marcha! En marcha! Okay. Keep the numbers up. Keep it flowing. I should move these into there, shouldn't I? Cubierto. Uh -huh. Kind of abandoned that position, it looks like. Was that on purpose or not? I'm not sure.
does give me an opportunity though. Grab it. Oh yes, we got through finally. See, si, senor. Here we do have actually have a port. Get that to the top as well. Goes nicely in terms of the numbers here. Yes, I'm aware that this is going to take a bit more effort to get all of this supplied. Is that gone down the list? Okay, there's only the one. That's not bad. Okay, we can keep that up. Attention! Attention! Pueblo, okay. Move that up to the top. Not going to take a heck of a lot of time. Oh, we got more troops that are, we can basically allocate now. As you can see, there's almost 24k there. No, señor. Attention. In actual fact, let's go to those troops and just pick them all and set them up as part of a new army here. I only got this one guy. Hmm. For now, he will have to do. Move them all by train to this lovely place of Cancun. Okay, I can set that to be defended as well now. We got the troops for that, that's perfectly fine. Listo! En marcha! Okay. If we can get Veracruz in our hands, that would be amazing. Attention! Okay, we got troops moving in there. Attention! There you go, our defense becomes far easier now. Cut this off here. The supplies to this region will become more difficult to manage for them. Hold up. Did I not say there should be a port here? Where's our port? Oh, it's still not done. 21st of November. Okay. It did say 20th of November. I just was being extremely impatient, it looks like. Okay. Convoy rating is going well. Let's have a look at what our air capacity is looking like in that region here. Yes, we got a fair number of troops here already, which is great. Oh, we are ready to basically integrate yet another province. There's still a fair number of them to choose from, as you can see. It'd be great if this, this told me more about it. Whilst I'm hovering over it. No. See, this would be a good state to integrate. All those extra factories we got there. Ooh, those numbers are dropping. Those numbers are dropping.
The fact that we started building those forts here actually does help. Alright, do we want to push into there? I guess so. There we go, let's push. That should be winnable. We've got the forces for it. We don't have an airfield here, really, do we? Well, we do have an airfield here, but it's uh, it's one that is just not at capacity where we need it to be. Okay. Let's get all of that done quickly. So we got 65 million in terms of manpower now, which is great. Si, senor. So that's the mountaineer troop. Ooh, in reality, I could leverage these quite nicely, couldn't I? You see, that would be really beneficial if we can do that. Listo, senor. These troops I can again push towards the front here. So I can actually quite use those here in that region here. To cover that mountain as a region as such. Si, senor. Firme. Could do with some more troops in that particular division. Red one. I'll focus that on there. And the yellow one is this. There, we only got the yellow one there, okay. Si, sí, senor! I don't have the red one, interesting. That's a different red one. Let's change that to light blue, just to make that clear. Ah, I do need that one to be covering the full width. Yes, that's 19 divisions, and I otherwise only got a few other ones to here. This one is now ready here. What is Kuba doing? Vamos, en marcha! You see, this is interesting. These guys are the brown ones. Brown is not standing out enough. Do you want to make it purple or orange? Orange doesn't stand out too much either. Dark blue blends in too much. Green, make it green. There's a lot of green ones here. Bad overall. Sixty nine as well. Okay. Almost done. So here we got our Marines. Marines, I should start getting them ready for a naval invasion. What is our... Look at this. Naval supremacy is really, really low here, as you can see. Number of friendly ships in the region versus the number of enemy ships in the region. And we do actually have some naval supremacy being given by the actual air support we're getting here. 
Okay, let's have a quick look here once again. So if we look at my Air Force, these guys are operating here. And that one's actually on standby. It's not even doing anything actively at the moment. Uh, hold on. From there, okay. That one I will keep active here. Nothing I've got there. That's a naval bomber I've got operating here. Okay. Let's operate it over there instead. Where's the canal zone? Okay. We're still firing into here as well, I see. Let's hold this one here for now. East Coast. Caribbean. Let's hold that one as well. Actually, I can actually fire it at the Gulf there instead, which will be interesting to see what that does. Let's fire that at the Gulf as well. Have I got more of them? I got one, two, three. No, I probably have got others in the production queue, but I just don't have them active at the moment. Okay, that's fine for now. Vamos en marcha! Hmm. They're trying to attack me. They did have some support from their navy, but okay, that's fine. Iceland has capitulated. Ooh, the Italians took them. in those numbers no why am i down to eight all of a sudden it's so peculiar okay well these are the green ones the green line i'm getting rid of i'm actually going to reposition these guys such that they are preparing for a naval invasion okay Can I help the infantry in any way? I don't think so. Not from here, at least. Nothing here. Unless we want to go for, for example, engineering companies and so forth, which will help with the entrenchment. I need more steel. Interesting. As you can see, it's still producing numbers that are very similar to what we had earlier. Market contracts, okay. It won't take that long. A region here, okay. Not bad. Okay, so the troops are moving around. Oh, yes, we got through. Why are they walking? Take the blooming train, mate. Gosh. That's what you got train companies for. Be able to quickly move your troops around. Here. You're there. Come on. Move them into position. Won't take that long now. I'd want to be able to call some encirclements, but that's going to be a bit harder now than it was before. Attention! Listo! Well, these troops are taking their sweet time to get up here, but then again, it's all the way from the southern tip of South, Af South America down to Central America, which is a couple of thousand miles. 
We get there, but it takes time and effort. Okay. Eighty-six won't be a bad one to get that done. Hold on. Let's have a look. Can we get these numbers up there? Should be doable. By Mia and. Okay. Again, occupied territory where we're basically suffering from that. Looks like we don't have enough troops here in reality. Okay, we can basically shift these numbers around slightly. Attention. Allocate them to the neighbors. It might well work to cover those gaps. Okay. Expeditionary units or marine commandos. Got the ability to exfiltrate from any coastal province. Well, that's pretty awesome. Effect air superiority is boosted. Special force capacity multiplier. Okay. Breakthroughs given there. And this also gives... Amtrak Battalion Breakthrough is boosted. Amtrak, okay. At improved amphibious design, which grants amphibious landing vehicles production cost reduction. Organization is boosted. This just gives some factors of being able to retreat. This is what it indicates here. Oh yeah, with my Marines. Not these guys, but these guys. I have set them to do an invasion there, but I don't think that's necessary anymore. Might be better to go for that city there. Is there a port facility there? Nope. There is here, of course, in Texas. Some facilities. Attention! Mexico will soon lose its capital. What have we got here? Oh yeah, I have to choose here. I haven't made that choice yet. Land doctrine. There's nothing else we can choose in terms of land doctrine. Same actually goes for the mountaineers. In terms of air, where you can not add anything either. Interesting. Um, let's have a quick look at our aircraft here though. That's that design. We can actually boost this company slightly, which gives me more naval targeting. Okay. This one here, we can actually not make any changes to. That's fine. This one here is this one. Nothing we can change there. That's fine. This one here. In this one. Again, we cannot make any changes to this either. Just double checking. Nope, nothing else we can add there at present. Okay, 47, 80, 9. All good. Okay, let's push into there as well. We've got the mountain troops at our disposal to help us here. So let's put them to good use. All right, guys, we're going to call it a day in a second. Well, not exactly a second, but you know what I mean. Oh, yes, these guys. Can I execute this? Listo, señor! only when of course we got our troops there which we haven't gotten there yet Crikey. 
Senor! Gun value is there. Hmm. Okay, we're having success thus far. Which is perfect. Okay, let's push. Let's push. Lose your capital, mate. Listo. That's the way to win a war by losing your capital. Again, steel. Interesting. It's not that we're basically not getting everything through, it's just we're starting to use more and more of it. Also, in terms of imports, yeah, we're good for now. In terms of rubber and so forth, so that's all good. They got some fresh troops here, it looks like. They got a river crossing. Interesting. I did not realize that was the case, but okay. Okay, let's see how we can push through into there. more of this terrain in our hands. Our capital will fall imminently. What's going to happen to Mexico at that point? Get a 23% towards capitulation. Not bad. Not at all. Okay, what do we get our hands on when we get our hands on that particular location? I don't know. Listo. I'd love to be able to do encirclements and so forth here, but there's not much we can do at the moment. Hey. Nice. Listo, señor! Joint maneuvers with the Italians. We got additional naval experience with that. Uh, okay, always welcome. Reduction in cost of naval doctrine. Okay, that's also good. Naval doctrine. I don't have much to do in terms of naval doctrine at the moment, but okay, that's fine. Well, this goes back and forth a couple of times, doesn't it? What have we got here? like a gangster of sorts. <laughs> oh, it's not a gangster. It's basically those guys in the trucks. It's these guys, isn't it? That's what they kind of look like. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that. They got this particular look to them. Attention! Listo! Okay. Won't be long now. Listo. Listo, señor. Okay. Listo. Yeah, she keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. That's fine. Not worried. These guys, we can actually add here this region to here as well just means we need to get our hands on that full region first before we can actually see that happening. Okay, that's secured now. Sweet. Sweet. 
look at all these beautiful additional support lines that we're getting here. Yes, there's a bit of work to be done to get that one up and running. Okay. One, two, three. almost done so let's just keep that going through air force yeah, the push into there has been quite successful the push into here looks to have been successful as well we made a beginning into mexico it's a it's a bit of a slug fest it looks like apologies about that Ace pilot promotion. Let's get all of these done. Well done, guys. We got a few aces now. <laughs> um, we do need to do something here. Combat casualties will actually give us the opposite effect now. So that should be good. Because we see that war support dropping. We do need to do the exact opposite here. It does say enemy bombing as well, doesn't it? Okay, so we boosted those numbers here, as you can see. Let them operate in that region. Is there any airfields here? Are there any airfields? I don't see them here. Could it be that just Mexicans just didn't bother building any? Could be, I guess, but it seems like a bit of an odd one. But are moving troops out. They're moving troops out from there as well, it looks like. It means that we'll leave this particular position relatively exposed. But are moving into there, interesting. Si, senor. En marcha. Si, senor. Okay. Push straight into there already. Should be easy enough to defend. That's seventy five percent in our favor there. Si, senor. Listo, señor. Listo, señor. Listo, señor. En marcha. Actually, let's push there. Hey! Attention! I know we're not going to get all of this done anyway, so. Yeah, where do we want to position an airfield? I guess in here, isn't it? Come on, we only got that southern tip in Mexico City here, that section, but that will still help us tremendously. Listo, señor. Okay. I really need to look at where we could potentially start working on encirclements. Listo! Nice, more of those refineries are done. Means we should, in theory, need less oil. Uh, not less oil, but less rubber imports, I should say. Okay. Oh, hold on. Listo, senor. Our plan was to do this invasion. I already got that territory in my hands, so that's fine. Let's just make sure we got all of them to that particular position there. The nice thing here, of course, is, is the fact that this particular position here has already been engaged with us. 
So we could actually take that position relatively easily because they're weakened troops that we got there. Or they got there, I should maybe say. Si, senor. Now look at this. Level four, level five. Okay, anything happening here? Is that our president? Field Marshal Pedro Ramirez? It is. President, well, dictator. Interesting. But he's actually on the front line as well. Good thing. But still very, very interesting at the same time. Okay, Navy. We did say we should get some discounts there. I don't see them here, unfortunately. So you need to put all these individually to do anything other than base your horses. Because why do we basically allocate stuff to there? And we don't need it in reality. So what's that going to do down the line? Here, if you look at this here does show that we need to upgrade some of that path that we got there otherwise yeah further down the line we might not be able to get all the relevant supplies that we need to the right places Almost there. Ten points. Ten points. Wow. Five points. Ten points. Ten. Five. Five. Ten. I guess these are out of fives, and that's ten once again. Okay. Interesting. Maybe having decent luck here in the Caribbean, a bit less, but there is overall a decent amount of stuff going on for us, which is great. Oh, yes, let's actually have a look here. Whoa, look at that. It's a good sized new fleet. Merge these two, I guess. Mix that into one of 18. Updated mechanized equipment, basic M-Track. Oh, a production here. We can actually upgrade to the newer design. Oh, interesting. Production cost. We can actually choose to allocate bits on here as well. Production cost goes up. Maximum speed, reliability. Okay. Cost a decent amount, but what else can we do with it otherwise? Then, other than basically allocated to uh, getting these trucks up to a good spec here, so to speak. We once again need more steel. Well, the Swedes will be happy with us, that's for sure. units there's a recruitment i could actually say well let's start recruiting more of these guys as well 
where we're going to set them to be recruited. Let's set them to be recruited up in that region there. I need more rubber, interestingly enough. Why do I need more rubber? I don't know. Maybe not producing enough? Is that possible? Yeah, might quite likely. Um, let's get this one up there as well. This one will complete by the 1st of February. Not too bad. I'll basically suffer the, uh, the shortages for now. Is that a coastal province, really? Did I not set that correctly for these guys? I set it to do everything. Focus on the coast. My friend, focus on the coast. And you can start moving to a different position. Same with these guys here. En marcha! Ooh, they got nothing in there. Huh. Listo, senor. They got nothing there. Si, senor. Si, senor. Who knows why, no? En marcha. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's have another look here at the supply situation, and then we're going to call it a day. It's been more than long enough. So guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Nice picture of the middle of Latin America. And there we go.